What's happening, guys? It's what? Go ahead. <laughs> What's happening, guys? It's Nate and Scott from Player Court. Today, we're going to talk about how to defend heavy topspin. That's right, guys. This video is for players with a Player Court rating of 50 and up. If you're not in the community, be sure and check it out for free to get your own Player Court rating. All right, guys. So today, we're going to talk about how to deal with this heavy topspin. And to be super clear, we are not talking about how to hit the ball on the rise. That is an option, yeah. but it is not what the focus of this video is. So take it easy, internet trolls. I know you can get in the comments section and be like, these morons don't know how to take yeah. the ball on the if rise. If you were really good, you would take the ball yeah. on the rise. We're, we're, we're going to talk about another method. Yeah, we're aware that taking the ball on the rise is an option, but that's not the focus of this video. So we're going to talk about a footwork pattern that we refer to as the drop step. And this is so important, it doesn't matter what the level, we see this a ton on the Pro Tour, but for every single player, even a beginner needs to practice getting their outside leg behind the ball, and that is the drop step. You might be thinking you're doing it right, I bet you might not be. Let's jump into the demo and see if you are. Yeah, if you're excited to see whether or not you're doing this right or not, smash that like button below. And guys, as always, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to make sure you never miss Nate's face in another video. Let's jump into demo mode now. All right, so this first demo, we're taking a look at these open stance foreheads. They may look correct at first glance, but this first one, what you're gonna notice is that my outside leg, although lined up behind the ball, it's parallel with the baseline. And what this means is I have no way of driving my hip to create power top spin, and it's also causing over rotation where I hook the ball wide. In the second variation, I'm actually stepping in with the right foot. And if somebody's playing with big heavy topspin, this is even a bigger problem because I'm taking my own time away. I'm also not driving the hip and I'm also have the tendency to hook the ball by over rotating. We'll get back to the coaching in just a second, but first, we really appreciate you watching our channel, and as a thank you, we wanna give you our six-part forehand mastery video course for free. This course will show you how to get more power and spin on your forehand, and we normally sell it for 100 bucks, but if you stick around till the end of this video, we'll give it to you for free. All right, let's dive back into the coaching. So here we're taking a look at the drop step, and here I'm stepping out and loading my outside leg behind the ball. This is enabling me to use the ground in order to fire my hip out to the shot and have a full complete swing. You can see I'm landing out on that left foot, so I'm getting a full rotation out to the ball. So in order that I don't break down and hit a short ball, the, the big heavy top spin, although keeping me deep in the court, I can fight it off and re retain position in the court. All right, how to defend heavy topspin. It is all about getting that outside leg behind the ball. This is what's giving us leverage over the ball. It gives us the ability to fire from the floor up and get that hip thrust that we're looking for in order to fight that heavy, heavy topspin off of us. That's right, guys. And we only covered the forehand here, but the backhand is the exact same concept. You're just gonna get, again, your outside foot behind the ball and you have the option to turn in and step into that ball or hit from the open stance. But the concept, the footwork pattern, Everything we're looking for is exactly the same. So hopefully that helps. As always, we like to leave you with a little gift. So check out that comment right. section. We've got our forehand mastery course. We know myself for a hundred bucks down there for free. So check that out. And if you're not in the player court community, shame on you. Go try it for free down tiss, in the comments tiss. section as well. We'll see you guys soon. See you guys. What were you what? looking at before? I don't know. You're like, <laughs> you're like <laughs> I it was like in my mind, I was like, ha, see how good I am at this? Yeah.